Okay. So I think that we are live right now. Check one, two, check one, two. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal Mastery. Welcome in. We are going to be discussing something that I feel like is absolutely very valuable to go more in depth with. And this is something that has to do everything with more understanding on how the clip off functions. And generally speaking, how the clip off is manipulative on someone's consciousness and in someone's life if they actually don't understand what it is that they're working with. So in this today's video, I'm going to be discussing exactly how the clip off, which is the darker components of the Kabbalistic initiatory system, how is the clip off used in a satanic ritualistic type of way on the subconscious of the collective consciousness in order to intentionally manipulate them to be consumers and to be people that are running around like headless chickens and to just kind of be locked into the system, okay? If you want to understand some of the main ways that the clip off is used in this type of fashion, then this is absolutely going to be a video that I can guarantee you are going to gain a lot of value from. So the one thing that I would recommend is that you simply stay tuned for the rest of this video and I will simply see you on the other side. Okay, so we are in. Okay, so we're talking about the clip off and how the clip off can absolutely be extremely manipulative on the consciousness of another person who is not really understanding what's happening to them. Okay, so first thing first, let's briefly once again go over exactly what the clip off is in a nutshell so that people can understand. Uh, what it is that I'm even talking about. But before even that, let me give a little bit of an introduction of who I am just so that you know who you're getting this information from. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I'm a professional occultist, studied when it comes to planets, the initiatory system of Kabbalah, um, the archetypes, also very conscious of uh, trauma and its relationship to the nervous system. Okay, so let's go move into what we're talking about. So we are talking about the clip off. Okay, in a nutshell, what exactly is the clip off? So, in a nutshell, the clip off is going to represent portions of our own genetic code. This goes for every single person. It is portions of our own genetic code that are going to have to do with the more negative, dense, energetic resonances of the self in relationship to the genetic code. So when it comes to fragmentation of the psyche, when it comes to trauma, when it comes to states of ego death and dissolution of the self, this is all going to be very clipothic in nature, which is not a bad thing. It just simply is an aspect of how the soul develops itself in understanding the nature of the universe as a whole in comparison to the being and the non-being. So the clip off would be the aspect of our DNA that is more in resonance with the non-being, the no thing before the thing. So when we think of dark mother, the dark mother entity energy, that is going to be significant of a clip offic energy that is associated with dark matter energy that is permeating itself through the entirety of the universe that we are living in. And actually, we could even go as far as saying that the universe that we're living in is the dark mother itself. It is this primordial dark matter that has a consciousness within its own right that is an actual entity. And within this dark mother, there is a clipothic component and there is a sephirothic component. There is a positive to a negative uh, charge that helps to create balance uh, within the solar system for us specifically, but also within other solar systems and within galaxies inside of this universe as a whole. So it basically balances out the ecosystem of soul development 
at a large scale within the universe. All right. So once again, generally speaking, we look at the clip off and that is what it's representing. It is the darker proponents of the soul's evolution, which we all are interconnected with and all have to learn how to embrace and have to experience to some extent. Now, there are some souls that are on this planet, obviously myself being one of them, for those of you that know me, that are a little bit more in resonance through ancestorship and through different types of connections, past life connections and things of that nature with the negative polarity that is in resonance with the clip off. So some people are meant to be active initiates of this clip offic system when it comes to the genetic code. And that is going to be what generally we could say is, or that's what we could say are the black magicians, the real black magicians of the planet. And there is a very important and specific role that these types of souls bring to the collective consciousness as a whole to once again create the balance that is necessary to be manifest to help things evolve as a whole. All right. So with that being said, now that we have that understanding, what is clipothic manipulation? So when it comes to the sciences of the clipoth itself, as I was just saying, this is an actual study of the way that the soul interacts with some of these darker astrological interdimensional components within space outside of our planet Earth, and of course, grounding it on our planet Earth as well. So what this basically means is that these are higher dimensional sciences that absolutely have a significant effect on the consciousness, the psyche, the body, and all aspects of human being. So for someone that is conscious of how the clip-off operates within the nervous system of the human species, this awareness could potentially be used in a way that is inappropriate and used in a way to actually manipulate someone's psyche to sort of do certain things or to be a certain way that is actually very damaging to that specific person, all with an intention of trying to control a soul or trying to control consciousness. So in other words, if you think of the concept of having a slave, when you have a slave, generally speaking, you don't treat them so well. So you're going to make sure that they don't have that much food. You're going to just feed them enough so that they can you know, kind of get the job done. And you're going to be abusive to them for the most part. That's like what I think of if I think of someone being a slave to whatever it is. And the purpose of treating a slave poorly and not giving them what they're needing to thrive is because the intention of the person who has the slave is to make sure that the slave continues to be that same, that slave in that low state to be able to provide and get the job done for the person who has the slave or the group that has slaves. So let's take that example and take this understanding and let's now apply this to a collective consciousness level and look at potentially what could be happening in a more occult way or a more hidden way when it comes to psychological, spiritual, psychic, we could even say interdimensional manipulation of the psyche of the human being and of the soul of the human being. Now, this is the first place that I want to start with this. This video is not fear-mongering. I am not making this video with intentions to make anyone feel like this now gives them an out or reason to be a fear-monger or to feel like they are a victim and to kind of ride this wave of, we're going to overcome the system, everything's going to be great. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm just educating you and I'm giving you a breakdown on things that a lot of people don't fully understand. And the reality is, once again, when it comes to the way the universe functions, everything has a purpose. So everything that is manifest is manifest for a reason. The most important thing that you can do in those regards is self-reflect and realize what you are interpersonally in resonance with so that whatever it is that you're experiencing, even if it's abuse, how are you in resonance with that thing that you're experiencing? That is what is most important. I am not a scapegoat or trying to scapegoat anyone from believing 
that you are responsible for what it is that you are manifesting in your life. And that doesn't mean it's a positive or a negative thing. Everything offers development potential and nothing manifests for no reason. So get that locked in. Okay. The last thing I want is someone to watch this video and say, yeah, this is why my life is shit. And this is why I can't do anything. And this is why, and this is why, and I'm a victim. And you know, how do we overcome the system? It's not about that. It's about you and taking that self-responsibility and looking deeper, getting in tune with your body, getting in tune with your emotions and your sensations and starting, starting to actually heal, right? We have to heal traumas to start really allowing you to live uh, from a space that is more authentic to who you truly are. Okay. So with that being said, does that mean that there is still manipulation going on with a clip off and how that system functions? Absolutely. There is manipulation, just like there are narcissists and psychopaths and crazy people on our planet that are acting outside of their authentic self and are choosing to identify with the false self while simultaneously seeing other humans and other souls as completely separate from themselves, that exists. And there are people that are like that, that have consciousness and awareness of the clip off and of some of these interdimensional sciences to be able to manipulate other people's consciousness. This is real. This really does happen. It's like you take a narcissist, a real deal narcissist, and you give them the knowledge and the practice in order to become initiated within some high degree levels of occultism to understand how to use it in a way to once again manipulate other people in accordance to how that person is wanting to do it. That's what you could imagine when it comes to this type of manipulation, just giving a narcissist uh, interdimensional tools to be able to empower their narcissism. But here's the big thing as well, okay? Karma is real. And I'm telling you this as someone who is a professional occultist, a professional magician, black magician, specifically dealing with the, the darker arts. Karma is very real. No one can get away from karma. You can try you can try everything you want. You can tell yourself a story. There is such thing as the law of cause and effect, and everything is based on soul evolution. Those that are acting outside of their authentic self are going to face energetic consequences for being separated from their authenticity. Now, an aspect of their soul's development is to actually experience being outside of the authentic self and that in its own right plays roles for other souls to develop. In a weird way, that's what's happening. But there are still energetic consequences that are going to come to the person acting outside of the authentic self, and that will be their own development process that they will eventually have to experience. So make sure that is understood. There is not one person who is going to be using the clip off in a manipulative manner that is not going to pay the price for every single thing that they've uh, been able to manipulate outside of themselves because they thought they were separate. Okay? Take that into account. Let that really sink in. I'm going to even take a sip of this drink real quick while you guys let that sink in. Oh, that's good. Is apple cider vinegar with like apple and cinnamon in it. So tasty. Okay. So as I was saying, how does the manipulation function? What are some of the primary mechanisms and tools that people, organizations, corporations, potentially governmental structures, um, let's say people in high places, that have influence, what are some of the ways, the most prominent ways, I should say, of how this form of clipothic manipulation takes place? Literally, the most common form is going to be through the entertainment industry. This is literally going to be the main outlet of how real black magic is spread across the entire collective consciousness in a clipothic way, which in many ways is a dissolving way or a destructive way, 
that is oftentimes set up to actively manipulate a person's psyche to actually self-harm. So proper use of the clip off is going to be a dissolving process that is a healthy dissolving. It is going to be an educated understanding with a healthy foundation how to let go and how to die to aspects of self that are not truly who you are. And there's a healthy dissolving that takes place. Using the clip off in a manipulative fashion, like through the entertainment industry, whether that's through music, artists, music videos, TV shows, movies, um, live performances, and you name it, the list goes on. TV shows, et cetera, the list goes on. The way that it's often used in these different avenues that I just mentioned is in a controlled, intentional way to instill clipothic, ritualistic components within these things, like actual rituals, actual sciences that are designed to trigger clipothic energies from our solar system down into the collective consciousness, once again, through ritual that are being performed in these music videos, being performed on these TV shows, in these movies, et cetera, but also throwing in aspects and avenues of subconscious manipulation that is designed to further throw off the balance of the person that is also observing the ritual or observing the clipothic influence. So I have seen, for example, I have seen music videos, many of them, that are using ritualistic components to trigger the clip off, or I should say aspects of the clip off, like clip off spheres and different entities of the clip off, which are hired, uh, which are literally extraterrestrial consciousness. They are using ritualistic sciences to bring these energies into the videos that then people are going to watch, which through observation is participating or activating the ritual within the self, and then throwing in influences within the video that are also designed to cause the person to have an unhealthy foundation or to make decisions that are self-destructive in nature. So as I was saying, I have seen music videos where these ritualistic components are in there and they're triggering them through the video. And then they're also adding in influences that are designed to cause someone to want to use drugs, designed to cause someone to want to engage in an unhealthy relationship, designed to instill subconscious programming that you are not good enough, you are worthless, you don't deserve nice things, you are a failure, you can never be who you want to be. These types of subconscious messages while there is clipothic influence being triggered through ritual is a really heavy energy to process because of course every single one of us as human beings we've gone through trauma and we all have our fair share of repressed negative emotions that are inside of our bodies so when it comes to sadness loneliness abandonment fear anxiety um and you name it the list goes on we all have our fair share, all of us, of these repressed emotions, just alone from the certain traumas that we went through in our early childhood developmental stages. So when we're dealing with clip energies that are getting triggered through music videos and through movies, et cetera, if we don't even know what's happening, it's actually triggering a lot of these repressed things that are already inside of our bodies to start coming up to the surface to then be faced and then be embraced. Now, is this a bad thing? No, this is actually a healthy thing, but it can be a bad thing if you don't understand what's taking place and you don't have a healthy foundation. So what these videos do, the entertainment industry largely is doing, is it's actually also wiring into the, the nervous system of the observer to not have a healthy foundation, to use unhealthy ways of coping, to not trust themselves, not believe themselves, and once again, instilling subconscious uh, mindsets of being a failure and, and having bad luck. And that is a part of it. And I have seen this happen, you know, within 
the entertainment industry over and over and over again. And I look at that and I can actually easily understand it and see it when it's there. And I can see the intention behind the the group or whoever's behind it. Their intention is to literally damage the psyche and further fragment the consciousness of the people that are watching the video. So in other words, the people that are using the clip off to manipulate consciousness, what they're actually doing is they are recycling trauma within the nervous system of those who are observing those videos. Once again, is this a complete bad thing? No, this is actually existing for a reason. Although it is sinister and although you don't want to be the person doing it because of the karmic effects, this is actually playing a role in the collective consciousness and it's what we call the matrix. So as we live in a matrix system where there are Saturnian structures and Saturnian restrictions, this is a part of what it means to be human and to come into a space like Earth to experience trauma and experience um, the process of identifying trauma in the body and repressed emotions and then being able to heal them. So in other words, yeah, from one lens, the entertainment industry with all this clipothic manipulation is very inappropriate, but also it's there for a reason. And it's providing grounds for people to experience a lot of these traumas so that then, then they have more of an opportunity to eventually recognize, wow, I don't want to live this way and I need to do something about this and I need to start healing and working through my soul's development and aligning with authenticity. So once again, it's one of those things that exists for a reason. You don't want to be the people doing it, but at the same time, it, you know, from another lens, it is sinister. You see what I'm saying? So we don't want to just judge it and then say we have to put an end to it because it will end when it's supposed to end. But the more people are becoming aware of themselves in their own internal process, you can actually use this energy in a way that can further your own development. Because if these music videos are providing rituals that trigger the clip off and the subconscious aspects of the observer to come to the surface, then if you're someone who's on the healing path, then you can work with those negative emotions that are getting triggered in yourself. Let's say as you're watching the video, if you're really sensitive to your body and you're, you're aware that these things are coming through and you can further integrate and you can further process. But it's one of those things that you have to do in moderation. You know, you can't always be consuming content that is designed to operate on your psyche in a negative way and expect yourself to feel good or expect yourself to have a sense of safety to heal in a healthier way. So if you're always being influenced by these influences, then you're not going to feel safe. Uh, and it's only a matter of time until, you know, you start feeling really bad and things start coming up and, and you're going to need a break from it. But if you look at like, you know, the average person, you know, in our today's time, people are completely consumed by many aspects of the entertainment industry. And there's a lot of beauty in the entertainment industry. Like there's a lot of very valuable, amazing things there. So I don't want to create an idea that this is all bad or anything, but it's just that there's absolutely a lot of uh, subtle clip manipulation that's placed in there too. And a lot of people don't know that. And they are consuming a lot of entertainment, getting a lot of these subconscious influences coming at them and interdimensional influences coming at them that they're not aware of and they're not understanding how to process. That's the key word. They're not understanding how to process the energies, which once again cycles a person in a trauma loop where they are continuously kind of surfacing trauma, then using unhealthy ways coping mechanisms to suppress the trauma, which keeps them in a cyclical pattern of being traumatized. And it actually gets worse and worse as time goes on. And it drains someone's life. It really drains their life. But who's in control of it? Is it the person that's doing the clipothic manipulation? Is it demons? Is it entities? No, it's the person that is choosing to keep enduring, keep embracing these influences that they don't have the capacity to be embracing. But there is definitely a component of needing some education and needing to understand the importance of listening to your body. Because if you don't have a connection to your body and you're, you know, you're consuming all this content that is designed to kind of 
self-sabotage within yourself, then you're not going to understand what's going on. You're not going to understand why you feel so bad. And it's that simple, right? So at some point, you know, so someone generally become, you know, someone who sets the intention to, to heal and to, you know, make decisions that they want to, excuse me, to make the decisions that they need to make to work through things that are important for the soul's development people will naturally gravitate towards understanding, you know, what's going on in the, in the body. And then you start to really feel that there are certain things that don't feel good. They don't feel right. And a lot of the times the entertainment industry does that. So like for me, for example, I don't watch things like that much anymore. Like when it comes to the entertainment industry, the only things that I do like to, to do is I like to watch movies and I watch it, I do watch it from a deeper lens. So I'm always kind of looking and paying attention more of more oftentimes the background influence that is embedded within the movies, um, especially if they're using that clip authic technology to influence. So I can see the rituals that are being performed in the movie and I can see the deeper intentions that are embedded in it to have an effect on who's watching. Um, so when I watch movies, that's sometimes what I do with it. But, and I find it fun and I find it fascinating to, to do that as well. But I also have to limit that because if I do too much of it, it, it starts to surface a lot of things in my body. And then I have to honor my body and sort of take a step back. So that is the essence of clipothic manipulation. And that is what's going on in, you know, on our planet today. And this is having a mass collective effect. So the entire collective is connected to the entertainment industry. It is like a massive portion of the collective consciousness. So you can see that the system of society on planet Earth is largely orchestrated by the entertainment industry to kind of keep people in a state where they are oftentimes cycling through trauma loops and they are completely unaware that this is what's happening. Now, the beautiful thing about that, and yes, I said beautiful thing, is that there is space for that in regards to how the soul develops. Not everyone is meant to break out of the system. Not everyone is meant to incarnate and then become aware of their authentic self. It becomes a refinement process of a soul starting to learn about itself. And sometimes through that process, we have to experience certain forms of restriction and we have to experience certain forms of, unfortunately, suffering in order to then realize, wait a minute, I want to experience my authentic self and I want to feel unconditional love. I want to understand what is unconditional love and how does it operate through the universe. All right. Just like when you plant something, you plant it in dirt and then it becomes something beautiful. Just like a, a caterpillar starts in the cocoon in darkness, turns into a beautiful butterfly that can fly around. Just like a diamond is formed under pressure and then it becomes this beautiful stone, right? This is the process of soul evolution. So it's not evil and it's not bad. It's just, it is what it is. It exists for a reason and it has created space for you as a soul to experience so that you can better know yourself. And rather than trying to scapegoat your own emotions and your own traumas by blaming someone and blaming the system or saying that this needs to change, how about you take responsibility within yourself and you realize it has nothing to do with anything outside of you right now. It starts with everything inside of you. And as you take that responsibility and you go in, you start to then resonate differently with things that are more in alignment with your healing process and more in alignment with connectedness. Okay. So that is really the main message that it is that I wanted to communicate across to all of you in regards to clipothic manipulation. Now, clipothic manipulation can also take place in many other areas in life as a whole. So as I said, the entertainment industry is absolutely the main producer of this clipothic influence, but there's absolutely clipothic influence in every single major city that you go to. A lot of these cities are designed in a specific 
uh, intentional way that is playing off of interdimensional correspondence, excuse me, astrological correspondences that are designed to channel energies from our solar system that are actually clipothic in nature. So every city has a clipothic influence to it, every major city. And there are many other places amongst our planets, like con uh, countries and states that have uh, clipothic influences to them. And cities especially, though, because these play significant roles, once again, in the energy bodies of the entire collective consciousness. So everyone is connected to the clip-off. No one is not going to be affected by the clip-off. And we are all built and have decided to have these experiences in our today's time with the clip-off. That's why we came here as humans. So there's nothing wrong about that, but that is also another way that clipothic influences can easily get pushed out into the collective consciousness as a whole through cities. Okay. They can also come through ritualistic organizations. So when you look at occult orders, when you look at groups of occultists and different areas of these types of things, you know, myself included, you know, I bring a lot of clipothic energies down to this planet, the only difference is, is that as I'm bringing these energies to the planet, I'm bringing it with intentions to heal. I'm bringing it in with intentions for self-development to uh, come out of it so that people can understand really what the clip off is actually about. I'm not bringing it in to manipulate other people to make them feel like they need to be slaves to me and you know I need to be in control of them because if I was doing that, then there would be a lot of energetic consequences that I would get in return. And that's not something I want to do. And I don't feel like doing that with other people because I see other people as myself. So why would I use this science to hurt another person when in reality, it's just hurting myself as well? Okay. I would rather honor other people in a, in a way that I can honor them. So there are many different organizations and groups of occultists that are are tuned in with some of these interdimensional sciences and go through initiatory processes to know how to use these things that are bringing in clipothic influences to our planet um, as well. And some groups of people bring it in a more uh, inauthentic way. And once again, they deal with the consequences and other people bring it in in more of an authentic way. So it's not something that's just good or, or bad. It's not black and white. It's very nuanced, and there's a lot of stuff that goes in between. But groups that are you know, ritualistic in nature can channel these energies. Single people, like a single individual that is really going deep with their clipothic initiations and connecting with these entities, they are also bringing in these energies in a very significant way to the collective consciousness, okay? So when someone has the intention to use the clip off in a way to manipulate another person to be a slave to them or to be controlled by them or to you know, strictly profit off of other people in a way that is not healthy um, for the, the people that are being profited off of. So if I'm sell, let's say for example, I'm selling a product that is designed to lead you into addiction. So let's say I sell a product that is uh, something that's very addictive and it's just not healthy for the soul's development. Well, I could sell you that product and I could make a lot of money from it, even though I know what it is that I'm selling to you is damaging to your health. So that would be like a manipulative way of using having a transaction and I could use the clip off to support that transaction. Now, in the long run, I would get consequences. And why? So, how would the clip off support that transaction? Clip off initiation is going to ac access some of those deeper portions of the personal subconscious and unconscious mind, which means you start to understand that aspect of human nature better. So, I could be a better salesperson or I could use my understandings once again of how the subconscious and unconscious works. And I could use ritual and I could use symbolism to promote that to be sold. And that would be 
a form of clipothic man manipulation if what I'm selling is not healthy. All right. Now, in reverse, if what I'm selling you is something that's healthy for you and is actually going to aid you in your soul's development, then I can use those same clipothic energies in a way to support what it is that I'm selling. And I can continue to thrive as I'm doing it because I'm not getting the karma uh, from selling something that's damaging to the soul. Okay. So hopefully as I broke this down, this can really help to give you some of the perspective that maybe it is that you didn't have and give you just a deeper look into the clip off as a whole and how it really functions in our today's time so that you can be a little bit, you know, hopefully a little bit more aware on what's actually going on uh, in our today's time, because these things absolutely are real and they are taking place, whether you agree with it or not. You could call me woo woo all you want, but when you actually go through this initiatory system and you work with literally a lot of these energies that are extraterrestrial in nature, and they show you some of these sciences, and then you apply them here on earth and you experiment with other people and you start to see how they're affecting other people's psyches. That's when you start to really realize, wow, this shit is not a joke. This is real stuff. This is higher dimensional science that is designed to influence the psyche. And, and you can use that in many different ways. So of course, when you have the education that I have, and then you see the entertainment industry, you can literally see these things manifesting over and over and over through movies, through videos, through music, all the way down to the frequencies that these artists are playing in their songs that then trigger subconscious phenomena to surface things. And then the lyrics of what they're saying and the beats and everything. Okay. It's very strategic, you know, all the way down to the date that the album's released and the number of the song and what the song name is. And then what the artist is wearing. It's like all these little things are ritualistic in nature. And it's not to put you on edge and not to make you like, oh my God, I got I to gotta know everything so that I'm safe. That's not what it is. You don't have to know any of this to be safe. It's not evil inherently. It's about listening to your body, listening to your sensations, listening to your emotions. If you're listening to a song from an artist that you love, but you're not feeling good listening to that song, maybe it's time to turn it off and process what you're feeling. Okay. If you're watching something on TV and you're, you're tuned into it and you're not actually really feeling good as you're watching it, maybe a part of you wants to still watch it, but you're not truly feeling good watching it. Maybe it's time to turn the TV off and be with those emotions. Okay. Because something's getting surfaced and there may be clipothic influence that's helping to support it, which is not a bad thing. All right. That's going to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, this is very valuable information that a lot of people don't understand and don't have. So if you felt like you got value from this, hit the damn thumbs up button. Yeah, hit the damn thumbs up button this time. Not just the thumbs up, the damn thumbs up, okay? Go down in the comment section and let me know exactly how this video influenced you. Let me know what you got from this. Let me know what you learned. Let me know what you already knew from this specifically drop down in that comment section. I would love to hear it. Make sure you are hitting the notification bell for my channel. Get notified whenever I'm posting this content because the things that I'm talking about are extremely important and you do not want to miss out on what I'm releasing. So make sure you are getting notified. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribing to my channel, you are energetically connecting deeper into the content. It is a ritualistic component. And it sounds funny, but it's, a, it's actually a psychic link by subscribing to my channel. So if you want to initiate that, then subscribe and you're going to get more value from what it is that I'm communicating. If you don't want more value, don't subscribe. Okay? Now, if you have any friends or anyone, social media platforms, you have my encouragement and my permission to completely copy and paste the link of this video and send it to someone that you feel like is going to gain value from it. I encourage that. If someone just came up to your mind now, send it to them. Do them the favor, do you the favor, and do me the favor. It's a trifecta of favors. Okay? Cool. Now I'm going to take your awareness to literally the most important link within the entire YouTube description itself. This is the first link 
in the description. This is going to be my Patreon, okay? My Patreon has exclusive content that is not on my YouTube channel. If you are not a part of the Patreon, move over to the Patreon and get access if you really want to tune into some deep layered knowledge, practice, and teachings. So everything ranging from really deep occult knowledge, real ritualistic practices I'm performing and teaching you how to do, initiation within the Kabbalistic tree, both Sephirothic and Klippothic especially, like walking you through what real Kabbalistic initiation actually is and what it looks like sharing from personal experience, okay? All of this stuff is broken down in different genres, in different what's called collections that you can choose from and actively study, okay? All of this is over on the Patreon. Education on trauma, how to better regulate your nervous system, creating a healthy foundation, tools that support the process, all of these literally most valuable things that matter. So go and check the Patreon out. There are literally over 700 active members on the Patreon now. It is growing every single day, literally every year at this point, the Patreon is multiplying. So who knows what it's going to be next year and the, the, within the next five years, but it is continuously growing and it's thriving and it's happening for a reason, okay? Tier number three and number four is what gives you access to something very exclusive and very unique. This is the only ritualistic service that I offer for my collective in general. This is called the Universe B Vampire Service. This is a ritual service where I am doing an energetic transfer from me to you as the participant to support you through some of the deepest emotional processing that you have uh, stored within your nervous system when it comes to repressed emotions and supporting you through that process of going into those areas of your subconscious and unconscious mind that are needing to be understood so that you can start really stepping into your authentic self and gaining power from the process. Now, the first thing that I wanna say is that this service is not for everyone. This is for people that are ready and willing to do this type of work and are also in resonance with some of these darker aspects of spiritual self-development in general. Now, if that is you, then this service is for you, okay? The energetic transfer is very significant. As I said, I've been through a lot of different life experience all the way down to past life experience, and I've gone through the initiatory system of the clip off itself. So when I do this energetic transfer in the ritual itself, it is allowing the information and the energetic resonance of what I've experienced and where I am now in many ways to integrate itself into the active receiving participant to start processes of initiatory self-development so that you can start processing and healing certain things that are necessary to start moving down this path of what it means to be uh, a real really initiated occultist, okay? Now, with that being said, there. so this ritual service is performed on the 29th of every month. So the deadline to sign up is the 28th. There are over 250 active participants, over 250 that are participating in this every single month, okay? Every single month you participate in this, you are getting the ritual performed on you. And you are getting more so of a streamline of energetic influence from the ritual itself. So it is increasing your ability to be more in tune with some of these darker aspects, these clipothic aspects even, of the universe itself, but definitely within our solar system. And it's helping you to integrate more of these repressed energies inside of yourself and surrender into the dark feminine state, which is the no thing, where then you become all things. Okay, it, it, the vampiric component to this has to do with black holes where you t I tune the energy field to black holes by spinning the, changing the spin on the energy body counterclockwise. And what that does is it has a magnetizing effect to the energy field, which surfaces repressed things, but also pulls in energy from around your environment. So you can actually pull out the inauthentic self from another person use it as energy, transmute it into authenticity and power, and leaving that person in a state where they now have to process what's underneath 
their mask, so to speak. They now have to process what's actually in their system. So it's a win-win circumstance. And that's where that vampiric component really comes into play. Now, there's a lot of other things that are associated with this. The Atlantean Crystal Grid, which is a crystal energetic uh, matrix system that I've designed that is very significant and it's, it is advanced, that everyone who is a participant of this ritual service, their intimate information is printed out and then placed inside of this crystal grid, which is sending a consistent streamline of energy that is supporting the process of the development, working with some of these darker evolutionary sciences. All right. So if you're taking advantage of it, look into it. All of this is the first link below. There has been, uh, at this point, thousands of people that have received the service, and there is tons of feedback that I have gotten that is very valuable feedback, letting me know over and over again how people's lives have changed pretty drastically shortly after having received the service itself. I've heard some pretty wild stories from that, okay? And I know it's very, I know it's very significant and powerful myself, just from a personal level. So if you're interested, we'll leave it there. First link in the description, check it out. Second link is where you can book one-on-one -on -one calls with me, or it's where you can book a mentorship. The mentorships are going to be one of the more intimate ways to work with me. And we're going to go very, very deep in regards to processing traumas together. We're going to help you create a healthy foundation. We're going to start regulating your nervous system. And then if you're ready, we can start getting into more of the occult initiatory side of things. I love doing these mentorships. I have a bunch of them going on right now, and they're just going to continue growing. So if you want to get in, I, I promise you in the, honestly, in the near future, because of the way I'm getting booked with these things, the prices are going to be going up again. And I can tell you a hundred percent in the long-term future, my prices are probably going to be so high that I don't know if I'll even, this will even be something I mentioned publicly. Okay. So if you're wanting to work with me now and get a lot of these things uh, understood when it comes to what's important with the foundation, this is your time. Let's do it. Second link below. Also, in that same second link below, you have an option to book a tarot card reading with Alexia. Now, she is a very gifted tarot card, reader, uh, tarot card reader, and she can pinpoint what you're experiencing in the present moment and then where you're headed in your near future based on the tarot cards and then connect it back to the Kabbalistic tree to show you what Kabbalistic influences all the way from the spheres and the archetypes are coming in that are supporting your, your growth process. So there's a reason why I have her doing the tarot card readings on my channel, and she's getting a bunch of readings that are coming in now. So if you want to take advantage of it, definitely look into it. Second link below to get a very valuable reading done by Alexia. Third link below is the Lucifer's Foundation course. This is a really significant course. If you are looking to develop a healthy relationship with Lucifer specifically as an entity, this course gives you everything you need to know step-by-step -step instruction. So me and Nick McCool, who is known as Cosmic Observer on YouTube, we partnered on this course and we recorded 11 modules together, giving you everything you, you need to know about developing this relationship with Lucifer as we both have a very significant a significant connection with this energy ourselves. So if you want to take advantage of it, that is the third link below. And once again, there are a ton of people that have purchased this course. Literally, people are buying it every single day. So if you would like to take advantage of it for yourself, look into it. It's the third link. Fourth link below is my YouTube memberships. I would love to have you a part of my community. That's like the main thing. If you want to join the family of Universal Mastery, if you would like to become a part of this community and you want to be, you know, once again, in the family of the community, if you're really resonating with the content and you're communicating with other people in the community, it only makes sense that you would kind of, you know, join into the family and, and, and become a YouTube member and have your name appear as green and then get the little badge next to your name. I would absolutely love to have that. Okay. And of course, as a YouTube member, you're also gaining access to other benefits. I will let you look at that yourself but I would love to have you as a part of the community, okay? So that's the fourth link. Fifth link are going to be my book recommendations for you. If you're someone that is looking for books to study from in relationship to the whole process of initiation and the spirits that are associated with it, if you want the tools that you can always refer to back to on your tool belt, these are the books you need. 
The fifth link is a four ebook bundle that you gain immediate access to when you purchase it. And it is literally giving you everything you need to know from the sigils of spirits, the descriptions of them, all the way down to invocation, what invocation is used for, the initiatory process of the spheres on the tree of life, the tree of death, the archetypes of the, the major arcana of tarot. All of these really valuable things are all within this bundle, and it's literally only $128. So all that I ask is that if you make this purchase, also recommend it to someone else that you feel like would gain value from it. And as I said, there are tons of people that have purchased this already. People are buying it every single day, and it's only going to increase. Very valuable knowledge, potent knowledge, broken down in a way that's actually understandable in our today's time. Okay. If you want to take advantage of it, that's where you go, fifth link. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to wrap it up. I appreciate all of you very, very, very much. And I hope you all have an amazing rest of the day or nights, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.